On May 6, 2023, a solemn and holy ceremony took place in Westminster Abbey in London to crown King Charles IA as King of the United Kingdom. The ceremony took place in London. Camilla, who was Prince Charles' second wife, also received the title of Queen. It was the most significant historical event to take place in Britain in the past seven decades, and it featured a number of ceremonies that dated back hundreds of years. King Charles took the throne after the passing of his mother, Queen Elizabeth, in September of 2022. As he ascends to the throne, which dates back to the 14th century, he has become the oldest British monarch to have the 360-year-old street, Edward's crown, placed on his head. Subscribe to our channel before we reveal the details. After the spectacular ceremony, which was attended by 2,000 people, including international leaders, members of the royal family and celebrities, King Charles and his wife, Queen Consort Camilla stepped on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to wave to the crowds who had gathered outside the palace. Queen Elizabeth Yu, who held the title of longest reigning Queen of the United Kingdom, passed away on September 8, 2022 at the age of 96 while she was vacationing at Bongrel. After her passing in accordance with a custom that dates back many centuries, her son King Charles became the new monarch of England. Buckingham Palace is the official house of the British Queen. No matter how many stately mansions or stunning tower blocks oligarchs and billionaires build throughout the world, none of the buildings will ever sell or match for more than the Buckingham Palace. The royal residence in central London has been estimated to be worth more over £4 billion in 2022, placing it at the top of the list of the world's most valuable buildings. The ultra-modern Antilia Tower in Mumbai, India, which is owned by Indian tycoon Muksh Ambani, and the luxurious Villa Lee Polda, which is the residence of Russian billionaire Michael Prokhorov on the French Riviera's Côte d'Azur, were beaten to the title of most expensive home in the world by this 18th century mansion. It is the costliest house in the world. Buckingham House was purchased by George Ayoye in 1761 for his wife, Queen Charlotte, with the intention of it serving as a respectable family home close to Street James Palace, which was the location of major court events. After being crowned king in 1820, George I.V. immediately began the process of transforming the family residence into a palace with the help of the architect John Nash. However, the king was adamant that the budget be revised upward to a more reasonable amount of 450,000 euros, which the House of Commons eventually consented to. Nash added a sizable suite of rooms on the western-facing garden side of the building, which faced the building's main block, in order to expand the size of the main block. The outside of the structure, which was clad in subdued bath stone, was designed to reflect the French neoclassical style that was favored by George I.V. The Buckingham Palace is situated on a massive property that spans 829,000 square feet and contains a total of 775 rooms, including 19 state rooms in addition to 52 royal beds and guest bedrooms. For the convenience of the household employees, there are 188 bedrooms, 92 offices, and 78 bathrooms. Some of the amenities that give the impression that it is its own self-contained village include a church, a post office, an indoor swimming pool, a staff cafeteria, a doctor's office, and a movie theater. The main entrance can be found in the center of the quadrangle that makes up the inner courtyard. The queen always exits and enters the palace through this doorway when she visits. Before entering the Great Hall, guests who are attending significant events are also shown to the building's great entrance. Nearly 30,000 people attend the annual party of the Queen of England throws in the large lawn located at the back of Buckingham Palace. This event takes place at the most expensive mansion in the world. More than 350 varieties of wildflowers, 200 species of trees, and a three-acre body of water may be found across the garden's total land area of 39 acres. Upon entering the palace, one of the first views that guests see is the Grand Staircase, which connects the lower level to the state rooms located on the upper level. The treads of the stairs are covered with crimson carpet, and the walls are hung with historical portraits of various members of the British royal family. The perspective of Buckingham Palace that is known to the majority of people across the world is the one that looks out onto the east facade. This is because the royal family makes public appearances on the balcony that is located off of the central room on significant occasions. Behind the balcony of the most expensive home in the world is a room known as the Center Room. This room is also referred to as the Chinese lunch room due to the fact that it is furnished with Chinese Regency furniture. Before Emperor Napoleon IE and his wife Yuzhing arrived in 1855, a yellow drawing room had already been furnished with yellow silk and adorned with yellow silk. It was constructed for Queen Victoria so that she could throw parties and it features a balcony. This exquisite parlor in Buckingham Palace is where private audiences with the Queen take place. While Her Majesty is hosting guests in this room, the walls are painted a light pastel blue, and the floors are made of dark oak. 
In the backdrop, there are photographs of Her Majesty's family. This spectacular ballroom is where official banquets are held, and it features high ceilings, vibrant crimson carpets, and gigantic artworks covering the walls. Additionally, the ballroom is used for investiture ceremonies, which are performed by the Queen and other senior members of the royal family, including the Duke of Cambridge. The rituals take place in the ballroom. When Her Majesty has audiences at Buckingham Palace with foreign heads of state and other distinguished guests, she frequently uses the 1844 room, which is one of the palace's 19 guest rooms. The Great Room is nothing short of a showstopper, because it is decorated with luxurious marble blocks and gold mirrors that are hung on the walls. Additionally, the space has carpets with traditional patterns and chairs in blue and gold colors. The Music Room at Buckingham Palace has been used for a number of important royal events, such as the christenings of Prince Charles, Princess Anne and Prince Andrew, as well as Prince William's and Kate Middleton's wedding. The throne room, which is possibly one of the most recognizable chambers in Buckingham Palace, has played host to a wide range of events, such as balls and investitures. Additionally, the official wedding pictures that were taken after Prince William and Kate Middleton's royal wedding were taken in this room. The picture gallery in Buckingham Palace is home to some of the most impressive pieces of artwork in the royal collection. The 47-meter-long hall was designed specifically for the King's art collection. The majority of the paintings in this exhibition are from the 17th century and were created by artists from Italy, the Netherlands, and Belgium. Artists such as Titian, Rembrandt, Rubens, Van Dyck, and Claude Monet are included in the collection of works on display here. The palace contains in excess of 700 guest rooms. Over the course of its history, Buckingham Palace has played host to tens of thousands of guests. With 775 rooms in total, it is simple to comprehend why this is the case. In total, there are 19 cabins, 78 bathrooms, 52 royal and guest rooms, and 188 rooms dedicated to the employees. More than 800 members of the palace's personnel call this building home. The ballroom is occupied by more people than just the Queen of England. There, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge can be found along with their three children. The most expensive home in the world is also home to more than 800 staff people who work for the royal household. This home is also the most expensive home in the world. The world's most famous architect, who was responsible for designing the Buckingham Palace, was dismissed from his position. John Nash, an esteemed architect, was responsible for the renovations that gave the original Buckingham House its current appearance. Buckingham Palace, which was designed by Nash, was generally hailed as a masterpiece, but it did not come cheap. By the year 1828, Nash had already gone over his budget for the building's improvements by a total of £496,169. After the death of George I.V., Nash was swiftly removed from his position due to his excessive expenditures. During World War II, the bombing of Buckingham Palace took place. During the Second World War, which began in 1939, the castle was attacked a total of nine times by air raids. The most talked about event of 1940 was the destruction of the palace chapel, which took place at the time. This tragic event was played in theaters all around the United Kingdom to shed focus on the struggles faced by people of all socioeconomic backgrounds. There is an automated teller machine ATM, located inside of Buckingham Palace. The Couts & Co Bank, which is the royal family's primary financial institution, has installed an automated teller machine ATM, at the lower level of Buckingham Palace. The list of services that are provided includes a cafe, a movie theater, and 78 bathrooms. Additionally, there is a post office. Which part amazed you the most? Tell us in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching.